Hello guys, Happy New Year! Today will be unusual beginning of this video, we start our process from the place where we finished last time. And yeah, here are the beautiful caterpillars for a heavy American T29E1 uh, tank. Well, we started it uh, during previous episode and today we finish this big uh, project in 135 scale from Hobby Boss. Ok, what other details uh, left uh, before we finish this project? Turret, add here a workable uh, hatch, commander's hatch, uh, well, just for fun. Big 105mm with the manlet, have to be connected to the main part of the turret. And add other details that left uh, for the turrets, applied them on the glue. Details looks good, but many of them a little bit thicker than they have to be. So I sent uh, them a little bit, uh, for example, like this one on the back part of the turret. Well, turret looks in general uh, normal. And additionally, I decided to drill uh, holes for machine guns in the manlet. Okay, moving next, uh, the hull of the tank, main parts uh, was added on it in previous episode. Now left several smaller details and exhausting pipes. Rollers not glued yet, uh, before they not painted. And one thing that can make some problems here is such a small handlers, a lot of them. Uh, here they are located on storage bins and fenders, uh, be careful with them. Exhausting pipes, uh, well, it'd be good solution uh, to add putty in the places of connections and to drill pipe, so I take a drill with a big diameter and make these holes in the pipes more realistic. So yes, a little bit better result. Additional work in the front part of our heavy machine. Headlights defense, I remove here extra thickness, make these parts more realistic. And defense on the left side, on the left fender, make totally from scratch. And replace front Browning machine gun, bought it uh, as a great part in one of the local internet stores. Well, that's all uh, with assembling, all details were prepared for painting works and a uh, few words about the painting process. At first model was covered in a red-brown Vallejas acrylic primer, after that add a layer uh, of olive drab paint that I mixed a little bit with a brown color. And add highlights uh, on all panels, hatches and uh, such a big details uh, using airbrush and also add highlights uh, using ordinary brush. Uh, this procedure I repeated on hull, but not on uh, chassis part, on turret and on rollers. Interesting process, but it can be a little bit boring, because this model is uh, too big, but it worth it. Instruments were also painted with hand brush, use here wood, gun metal and silver uh, colors. Machine gun was also covered in uh, gun metal color. When highlighting process was finished, I add fine layer of uh, gloss varnish on this model and start the work with a dark brown oil wash. The quality of washing process depends on your uh, layer of gloss varnish. So, if model has enough glossiness, the work with wash would be easy, because uh, there will be no problem with removing of extra wash. Next step, oil dots technique. It helps uh, to make your model more interesting, add some weathering effects on it. Uh, this tank didn't uh, took part in military actions, so I decided to make soft weathering with no heavy damages, no heavy chipping, rust and dust. If you want to achieve stronger effect from oil paints, it would be better to remove such a glossiness from model and put oils over satin varnish, or simply remove less amount of oil dots during shading process when you remove uh, extra oils with a white spirit. Also add brown oils on uh, wooden parts of instruments and that makes them more realistic. Caterpillars, they were covered in a primer, red-brown, that I mentioned in the start of this video. Then covered them in a mix of gunmetal and silver colors and decided to additionally cover these trucks with a, a black oil paint. 
Well, that was more an experiment uh, than the correct algorithm of how you can uh, paint your truck links. Well, looks uh, pretty cool, but in the end I uh, anyway covered them with the dry pigments uh, to imitate some dust and so on. And what I can say, big, so a little bit boring, well, as for me, project, so I just try to finish it. And in the end, behind the camera, I add some dust on caterpillars using dry pigments of dust and to add some general chipping uh, on this model, on the whole model, using uh, uh, metal uh, colored paints. Well, let's talk a little bit about this kit. Well, it is big, so it can be a disadvantage during the painting process. There is no transparent details at all in the box for this kit, I mean headlights or triplexes and so on. No photo edge parts in the box, uh, small details look somewhere wrongly and over -sicked. Truck links consist from a big amount of uh, small details, but, but in general we receive a big uh, uh, model. It's bigger than any World War II tank, but actually this one after World War II. It looks cool on your bookshelf, uh, look powerful and uh, only accept truck links. The process of building of this kit is not difficult in general. Anyway, I loved how this tank looks like. American power, is that what we can say about this tank? Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this short project, uh, the results of it. Uh, moving to other projects that are also in process, thank you for watching, good luck and bye!